is it? Aloha no, aloha kako. It's the Hawaiian broadcast, and here we go with today's show. Coming up, we're going to talk story about Makana. Got a brand new show called Return to Waikiki. Also, the countdown to University of Hawaii sports, volleyball, football is on. We'll talk the latest weather with Dan Cook and Hawaii Five O. They are geared up and rolling. And the Gabby Pahinoi Waimanalo Kani Kapila is coming up this coming Saturday. It's all right here on the Hawaiian broadcast. On the phone line with us this morning, it's Cyril Pahinui. Cyril, good morning. Good morning, Billy V. Good morning, Hawaii. It's an exciting weekend for you, um, your ohana, and all of our entertainment industry. This Saturday, coming up, we're celebrating my dad, Gabby Pahinui, Kani Kapila in Waimanalo at the Beach Park. This is our second annual it's, I feel so happy and honored to do this recognition for my dad and also getting the woman of our community people uh, involved. And, you know, it's free. We have entertainment. We have food, uh, arts and crafts. It's a family day to enjoy music, hula and dance. How many people playing? We have at least uh, maybe a little over 100 Whoa. entertainers. Hopefully we can get everybody on, you know, on, uh, before 6 o'clock. And it starts at 9. Woo! But we have Palani Vaughn, Jerry Santo, Dennis Kamakai, uh, even Jeff Peterson, Makana, you know, uh, Mike Kaava and his group. We have so many entertainers. You know, every 20 minutes or half hour, there's a new group on stage. Uh, like I just say, believe it, this is something that I'll, I look forward for every Year. For me, like, you know, like with Daddy, Arthur Isaac, Sonny Chillingworth, Raymond Conan, uh, Lennon Quad, you know, and that was my time growing up. Same with Uncle uh, Liberty Apana, with Uncle Fred Bunaho. And, you know, for, for us is to carry on the tradition in Kiwalo, in Hawaii music, and also hula and chant in our culture kind of thing. Now, for more information, the website is? GabbyPahinui.com. All right. Once again, Cyril Pahinui live on the phone from uh, Waiya Manalo. Cyril, thank you so much. Thank you, Billy V. You have a wonderful day. And also, all you people from Hawaii, mate, thank you. Mahalo nui loa. You guys take care. Aloha. Let's tell you right now what your weekend is going to be like. We start off with the weather. I'm Dan Cook from Hawaii News Now. Sunrise, mostly sunny just about everywhere today. This morning, we'll have a few clouds and showers, but very sunny this afternoon. Highs today from around 80 to around 90, so it's going to be warm, and you're going to feel every one of those degrees because the winds will be light. Easterly is about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Have a wonderful Friday and a super weekend. Billy V, let's send it back to you. Thank you, Dan. Let's tell you about the traffic right now. If you are in the town areas heading out to the North Shore, uh, if you're going by Waimea Bay direction, Direction, it's going to be really, really slow. The Kahuku Wind Farm, they've got these huge turbines and these huge, they look like fans that are going to turn with the wind and to make the energy. Anyway, they are transporting those all out to the North Shore today, this weekend. So they've cut away a lot of the branches from the sides of the roads. They'll be transporting those. It's going to be like transporting the shuttle, basically, as you take big pieces of equipment through tiny roads going from town all the way up to the North Shore. Surf-wise, around the island, North Shore is going to be pretty much flat. Not much in the waves there. Trade winds swell on the east side. Biggest spots you'll find are the town spots, 2 to 4. Maybe some overheads here and there. Uh, Diamond Head, 1 to 2. Ala Moana, 1 to 2. West side also two to three. Let's give you a little bit of Niele news, just like we do in the mornings on Hawaii 105 K I N E. Uh, lots of star sightings as things continue to be filmed. Pirates of the Caribbean, they moved out from areas off of Kauai to the windward side of Oahu. They've been spotted in the last couple of weeks off of Kauai, or I should say off of Kaneohe, in Kaneohe Bay. With the ship going back and forth, so lots of crowds, a lot of people watching. In the meantime, places like Apartment 3 have Johnny Depp sightings as he occasionally goes out uh, to enjoy the Honolulu nightlife to get away from the filming. Speaking of filming, CBS production of Hawaii 5 continues. They've already ended filming the pilot. Now they're into filming the regular season. Of course, CBS gave that the green light, which made Honolulu very, very excited as there have been sightings and filming going all over Oahu and Honolulu. ABC Television just had another casting call. They have an upcoming production. It's going to be based in the Panama or over in, in the rainforest of Brazil in South America. But they're filming it here, which means that they're doing casting calls. 
Battleship had a casting call here, and then we got told Rihanna has been put on to the cast. That in itself is exciting. October, some of the October concerts, Justin Bieber coming to Honolulu. And Adam Lambert just announced as well. A lot of stuff happening all across Hawaii, especially here in Honolulu. Hope you are enjoying the show and all the great information. We have music coming up for you in just a little bit from Gabby Pahinui. Right now, let's go to the phones. Hello? How's it, Billy P? This is Makana. Yay! How are you, my brother? Good, brother. You back from Japan? I am back from Japan. I am back from Tahiti. And it's an exciting time for you. You're getting ready to go back to Waikiki. Dude, this is my lifelong dream coming true. You know, I don't know how many of you guys out there have recently walked through the international marketplace, but as a child... You know, we all used to go in there and kind of get lost in there. And so much of Waikiki has changed. And for years, I've been dreaming of bringing back that old feeling, not just a show, not just an experience, but a whole atmosphere. And that's what we're doing. Return to Waikiki is opening in the international marketplace. Now, brother, it, it's been a, kind of a surreal experience for you because it's you're developing a whole new show. You're building the whole new set starting from scratch. I mean, the brothers have been, you know, painting, hammering, building, you know, uh, this is a new venue that we're creating. And, and really what it is, it's, it's an experience of that old vintage feeling of Waikiki from the 40s through the 60s. And the show itself is going to be a tribute to the history of Hawaiian music. You know, I really wanted to do something that wasn't necessarily Polynesian, wasn't a, an acrobatic production, was truly Hawaiian and was truly that old feeling that not only the locals, but the Malahini come here and they, they see all the pictures in the magazines and then they get here and they walk down Kalakala, they go, where is this place? That's what we're doing. Exciting. So you're going to be playing music. Tell me about the show. A luau and cocktail show. Opening night is this Saturday. And from then on, it runs Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every week. Every night we do a luau show and it's a full Hawaiian buffet, two drinks, and the show is a theatrical journey through the history of Hawaiian music. After that, there's a free cocktail show with two drink minimum every night and that's more like free form, honey kapila, whoever's in town gets up. You know, I wanted to do two things. I wanted to create an educational and inspirational journey through Hawaiian music. I mean, when I say it's theatrical, I'll give you a little secret. When you first walk into the show, and you're in radio, obviously, I just, I've always dreamed of doing what you do, and I'm finally going to get to do it. We've created a kind of like a pretend radio show called Radio Waikiki. And then when you walk in, we're dressed up as characters. I'm Sunny Shores, and my friend is Auntie Niele, and this is my radio voice. We've just received a call from upstate New York. <laughs> Those poor guys are freezing their cojones off. We're going to dedicate this next song to them. Hope it warms your freezing hearts. And so... <laughs> The whole thing takes you through this journey of when the world discovered Hawaiian music, and it takes you back, and then at one point, you know how I like to play slack key, but then I like to rock? Yes. Well, Auntie Nelly comes up, and she, like, hits me over her head, and she's like, hey, boy, with a newspaper, she says, how come you're playing all this new kind of stuff? I like hearing the old stuff. And that's when I say, well, Auntie, you know, here's how it happened, and we take people through this journey that no one talks about. You know, Hawaiian music evolved over a hundred something years from chant and dance to what it is today. And there's a hundred different subgenres in there that nobody really talks about or recognizes. So what we wanted to do was honor all of the Hawaiian musicians that came before us by showing all of the different styles that came out of Hawaii. All right. Now, if somebody wants tickets to go to this show, return to Waikiki.com. Makana, good luck on this new venture, this new storytelling of your of, of of all of our lives. Right on, bro. Well, you know what? It's for the community, bro. I want locals to fall in love with Waikiki again. That show happening once again this weekend. Let's play you some music right now. This is Gabby Pahinui.
Gabby Pahi Nui for you on the Hawaiian broadcast. That does it for me, Billy V. Malamopono aloha ahui ho. Don't forget, you can uh, catch me in the mornings on Hawaii 105. That's Hawaii105.com. Also on television, Hawaii News Now Sunrise. Game Day Activities Coordinator for University of Hawaii Athletics. Coming up in the next show, we're going to talk story about the Nakoa Bowl. It's a fundraiser that's going to be broadcast on six channels. It's a six-channel simulcast. Also, we'll talk story with Keola Beamer and Raya Tea about their brand new release. For more information on this broadcast and all the other things that are happening, head to hawaiianbroadcast.com.